What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name is Greg. Um, so what I'm talking to you guys about today is, and this is probably not a shock, but <laughs> obviously this has been like record, record times for people quitting Uber and Lyft and like quitting, quitting. I've had probably three times the emails and uh, texts from you guys that I normally do saying you're done. And I agree. I think this is the perfect time to quit. Um, I mean, you guys have heard a lot of my videos. I do kind of push the like, hey, let's not try and do this forever thing because who wants to be an Uber and Lyft driver for life? You know, not me. And I don't think any of you do either. So I'm, I'm all for the quitting. But um, anyways, let's get let's get focused here. So yeah, Record amounts of people are quitting. I don't actually have factual data for that, but I'm just saying I'm just saying that based on the um, amount of you that have like the influx of texts and emails of just like super ticked off Uber and Lyft drivers has been like times ten. It's been really incredible. I've been I've been cracking up, but um, I don't blame you guys. Honestly, this is the time to quit. You've got what I mean, for all we know, like three to six months of probably like not good work. So it's a good time to if you can't work, you might as well not work and find new work is like really the way I look at it, you know, rather than griping about this season. <coughs> it's just a video guys, you don't have to urge back away from my cough. I'm just kidding. Um, so what was I even talking about? Oh, the, the quitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So record amounts of people are quitting. Why? Well, you can't make money. Uh, you can't really drive right now. If you do, you're kind of a lunatic to go out there and risk it. If anything, I major kudos to you because you got big, big kahunas <laughs> if you're going out and driving in this. Um... <laughs> So yeah, record. I really believe record amounts of people are quitting. Like I said, I can't prove that, but that's the main reason. People either don't want to get sick or they're just going out and being like, yeah, I'm definitely not putting wear and tear in my car for four bucks an hour. It's not worth it. Um, <clears throat> things are nuts right now. The hubs are down. The apps are crashing like crazy. I, a lot of times, will just pull up my Uber app randomly throughout the day. Usually freezes within the first five minutes or something. I've been getting these not so messages from Uber support. They think I'm calling in and I'm not. Then they keep emailing me and asking me to uh, rate my support experience, which like I always do, I give it a one. <laughs> um, God, I used to leave the nastiest comments on those support experiences before the, the live phone calls from Uber has helped a lot. I'm not going to lie. But before they had that, oh, I would go off on them. How was your experience? I'd be like the freaking most god awful thing I've done in my entire life. F you guys, F Uber. I'd, I'd get so ticked. Um, anyways, so it's uh, it's just it's not worth it right now. More than anything, it's not worth it for your health, um, for the safety of your family. Like you going out and driving around people that have been God knows where is probably honestly the dumbest thing you can do. So I've been off the apps since New Year's and, um, you know, I've been working on a ton of other things anyways, so it's, it's maybe just a little bit different for me, but what I've been saying to you guys consistently, and I'm going to say it again, is if you're quitting, which I think is smart, like use this time for you find a new craft, a new career, anything. This is a great time to explore your interests, your passions, and find something new. Um, I also wanted to say this. I've said this in a lot of videos. Um, in the meantime, get your taxes paid so you can get some money from the stimulus bill. Um, if you are trying to find a new way to like really work from home or something in the meantime, I've heard, I've had a lot of friends here. I can't say for other States, but I've had a lot of friends here who have been getting, um, call center jobs at home and they're just virtual call, uh, call agents. And as long as you have a computer and a cell phone with Wi-Fi and service, like you're good to work for them and you can make calls on, on their behalf. So what I would do if you're in that situation 
call it, you know, Google all the call services, call centers in your city, start phoning them, just saying, Hey, you know, my name's Greg Wave. Uh, I've been an Uber and Lyft driver for the last four years. Uh, I really do believe I have great customer service skills. Having to, to learn how to cater to each random person you pick up is a trade that most businesses don't even ever work with. Uh, you know, when you're calling into leads that are pre-qualified, that's different from having someone getting in the car that's not pre-qualified, you know, and just say something like that and be like, I really believe I can do this. I really believe I have the customer service skills for it. And if you have a good talking presence when you're calling into them, they're going to give you a shot. You know, if you have good communication skills, that's what they're looking for. So that's something you could do. Um, in the meantime, a lot of grocery stores, the one I have a grocery store right next to my apartment and they're hiring. They're literally hiring. They need people to work, you know, cause it's so nuts. So in there, they need a lot of over overnight workers. I've heard too, to go in and like restock and stuff like that. Um, I know a lot of warehouses are still taking jobs where, you know, there's a lot of productions and stuff that still need to go on. So you can find work right now. It's just not going to be as cushy as Uber and Lyft was for you. But if you're really needing the money, there is work out there, but you got to look. I feel like half the problem is people, the second they find out they can't Uber and Lyft, they go into ultra panic mode. What am I going to do? Freaking out. And when you do that, you can't come up with new solutions. So if you're really struggling, there is work out there. You just got to A, be willing to look for it and B, be willing to suck it up because it's probably going to be way crappier than sitting in your car in the AC all day. That's the reality. Um, but you know, a lot of these places will hire you and have you paid within one to two weeks, which, you know, you pretty much can't get evicted right now. You pretty much, you know, there's like, I even know my bank even sent me an email and said they'd be willing to help with, you know, mortgage payments or whatever they could, you know, during these times, they're waiving all overdraft fees right now. So, and pretty much everyone's doing this. My wife, I even emailed me and said, Hey, we're not going to shut anyone off if they don't pay. I was like, well, don't tell me that I might not pay just for that reason. <laughs> Cause I'm frugal. Um, so there's lots of, there's lots of solutions is my point. Like if you are in a dire scenario and you can get find an, a work from home job that'll get you paid within two weeks, you're going to be fine. You know, you, you default all your payments for two weeks. You're going to get no overdraft fees, no nothing. And then, I mean, I would hope most, I guess I can't speak for every bank, but if you're with a bigger bank, like I'm with bank of America, I'm pretty sure somebody told me Wells Fargo is doing the same thing. All these big banks, you know, they can't, what are they really going to do? You know how bad their reputation would get if they were giving people overdraft fees during these times. I mean, that would be enough for me to be like, yo, screw you guys. I'm finding somebody else. <laughs> um, but so you see what I'm saying? Even if it took them two weeks to pay you, you can default on your crap, all your payments for two weeks and then be good by the time that comes around. And hey, maybe you realize you love that way more and you don't even want to Uber and Lyft after that. There are ways to make money. Okay. But what if you have a little bit of cushion where you're going to get through this and you've just been at home watching Netflix all day, I would just say, hey, take two hours away from your shows and do some research and find some other things you can pursue. I have I've been telling you guys to write an action plan for when this is all over for a business or something you want to do. I am doing this right now. Um. I think it'd be really cool if it was something a lot of us did together, but like I have a whole plan of action for a project that I'm going to work on like the day things are back to normal and I'm super excited for it, but I've been putting a few hours into it each day, I'm not slaving over it, but I just feel like, Hey, this is a great opportunity where I can invest a lot of time into something. So if you've got some kind of project you're working on, some kind of business plan, you know, this is a great time to invest a lot of time into it, you know, and you can use it for that more than anything. So I'm going to cut the video off here, guys. More than anything, stay safe. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I will definitely talk to you guys soon. And uh, yeah.
Right, normally I say crush it out there this week, but I guess um, don't get sick out there this week. <laughs> Alrighty, later guys.